Today we're going to make creme brulee, which is a French dessert. Before we begin, if we have long hair, we should tie it up. Put on your apron. And if you have any cuts or you just wish to be more sanitary, you can put on disposable gloves. For this recipe, you will need the following ingredients. Two cups of heavy cream, four egg yolks, one half a vanilla bean, split, and about five tablespoons of sugar. You will also need a pinch of salt. Some supplies you will need will be a whisk, preferably coated, four small ramekins or dishes that can hold at least a half a cup, a tiny torch, like a creme brulee torch, a mesh sieve, and a small pot. To begin, preheat your oven to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Now take your cream and pour it into your pan. Then you can add two tablespoons of sugar to this mix. your vanilla bean, and your salt. Turn your heat on to medium high. If you want to be extra careful, just use medium. It is a good idea to stir this so that you dissolve your sugar. Once your mixture starts to heat up, you should see lots of little black flecks. Don't worry, your pan isn't falling apart. That's just the vanilla bean. Once you've brought this just to a boil, you can remove it from your heat. And make sure you let it cool fully. You can also remove the shell of the vanilla bean. You might have to sift through for a little while to find it. Because you've gotten all the flavorful parts out, which is all the little black dots in there. Once you've allowed this to cool thoroughly, you can begin with your next step. Add one tablespoon of sugar to your four egg yolks and whisk thoroughly with a whisk or a fork. Do this until your sugar is thoroughly dissolved. Okay. Now you can transfer this to a larger bowl. Make sure you scrape the bowl, get all the egg in there. and you can begin to add your cool cream. Do this while whisking, so a little at a time. Be sure you get all the cream in there, just like you were sure to get all the egg in there. Make sure you give it a good whisk. Mm -hmm. 
Our next step is going to be running the mixture through the sieve into something with a spout preferably. Now you're ready to begin with your small ramekins or dishes. Be sure to pour slowly so you don't spill. And try and get them as full as possible without overflowing them. If you have any extra, you can add it to the other ones. It's okay, they seem really full because some of it, of the liquid, will cook out. You can also get a second ramekin like the one you used for your sugar. Fill that. Now you need to carefully move your creme brulee dishes into your pan. They will be very full, so careful not to spill them. Now it's time to pour your water in slowly and make sure it comes to about halfway on your lowest dish. Now it's time to move this pan to the oven and bake it for about 30 minutes. After 30 to 35 minutes, take your custards out and allow them to cool. Then, once they've completely cooled, you might cover them in plastic wrap and put them in the refrigerator for at least 4 hours to overnight. Now it's time to cover the creme brulee and put it in the fridge for at least four hours. Try not to get any air pockets so there will be no film on the creme brulee. Then you can place it in the refrigerator. Once you've allowed your custard to cool, you can sprinkle each dish with about one and a half teaspoons of sugar each. Try and be even. To help you, you can tap it.
try and do this at an angle. You don't want to burn the sugar. Simply brown it. And then allow it to cool and there you have it. Creme brulee goes great with fresh berries, whipped cream, or lavender.